We are about 15 or so miles northwest of world-famous Miami Beach as we are set for football at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami Gardens. Today, we've got a Week 5 matchup in store here as it'll be the New York Giants taking on the Miami Dolphins. The first quarter of the season already in the rearview mirror, and off we go in Week 5 on EA Sports. And we will not get a run back here to start. It's a touchback, and it will come out to the 25. Now the rookie third-round pick. It's Devon A. Chain. Now he's loose at the 40. Inside the 20. And all the way in for the Miami touchdown. Devon A. Chain. His third rushing touchdown of the year. And the Dolphins get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. wet conditions. The point after is up and good. And it's now a 7 nothing game. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Giants take over first and 10. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their own 22. Now the NFC's leading rusher a season ago. Here's Saquon Barkley. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Emmanuel Agba finding his way to the ball for a big stop there behind the line of scrimmage. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. And he'll go down at the 26 following a gain of six. This defense for the Dolphins, they played really well in that win last week against Miami. And the way they did it was by getting after the quarterback. Sacked him seven times in that game. Came from all angles, created a lot of illusions and especially just beat them man for man. That's the kind of defense that really frustrates an opponent. Now Jones. And got his man complete. And yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. An excellent gain, 35 yards. I guess we got a good idea about what the game plan is for attacking the secondary. No beating around the bush with this curve. His first throw of the game is a deep shot, and it connects. That's a tendency breaker right there because normally you build up to the big shot, but not in this case. Barkley on first down, going to work his way forward only for about a couple there. You talk about this Miami defense. They were terrific last week against Buffalo in that victory. I just consider myself fortunate that I'm not in charge of the offensive line. They gave up <laughs> seven sacks last week. And if things don't improve in this game, the head coach isn't going to be looking at the offensive line. It's going to be looking at the offensive line coach. And that's when things get dicey. Great, great, great. Throwing Jones. That is incomplete. Darren Waller, the intended receiver. And it'll bring up third down. In search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. On third down, Jones. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. 
Brandon, watching their tape from last week, I saw plenty of plays that we just saw there, forcing incompletions. It was key in their win last week. They're hoping the same thing happens this time now, too. And that will wind up just short. He had it online. It ran out of gas at the end, and this will stay at a seven-point game. Now, if this was a clear day in September, I'd say this is well within his range. I'd feel very confident about this kick, but let's be honest about it. In these elements, the difficulty level gets ratcheted up by at least a factor of five. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they're trying to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. From just across the midfield stripe, here's second and three. H.A. now up the middle. Oh, that one well designed as he'll take this down to the 30-yard line. 94 yards rushing for him as he's got the afternoon off to a great start. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. First down, they go back to H.A. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. Boogie Basham earning himself a tackle for a loss as he stops him behind the line. That's a nice job there, foiling what all offenses try to do, which is control the defensive end in the running game. They want to get to the outside, and if he keeps himself free, stays on his feet, he can make a play just as he did there. Now Tua completes it to the tight end Smythe. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants 16. Give him 17 yards that time as that'll move the chains. But as a coach, you absolutely love seeing your offense find their rhythm early, and that's exactly what we've seen so far. They had a touchdown on their opening drive, and now they connect here for another nice game for a first down. This offense is moving the ball well, exactly as he drew it up in practice. Turn away. Two and now on first down. So they'll get nothing out of that play, and that'll make it second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window close. He's got it. Touchdown, Dolphins. Tyreek Hill, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Dolphins are off to a 13-0 first quarter lead. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and it's now 14 to nothing. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. And some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. They've been outplayed early, no question. Down 14-0 already as they come up first and 10. And good yardage as he gets this one up to about the 23. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. This running game's so important for them, and they know that. It helped lead them to a victory last week when he was over 100 yards. Let's face it, it's their identity, and that's what they want to play to. They want to be that team that runs the ball really well each and every week, and right now we're seeing a pretty good pattern of that happening. First down, Giants on a pickup of 14. Well, you're down early. How do you get back in the game? Maybe establish the run. I think they're trying to do that. Now I'm with you on that one. And what I like about the message is that there's no panic from the head coach. He's already told his offense coordinator, let's run the football. Let's get things settled down a little bit and find our way back into this game. 
Here's the first carry from Matt Breda. He'll work his way up the middle for a gain of about four, second down. When you look at this defense, and they're a unit that struggled some against the run, no doubt, coming in 25th out of 32 teams. And this group talks all the time about wanting to be better, getting stronger against the run. And to me, it all starts up front. You've got to win the line of scrimmage in order to play against the run very well. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for, one of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss. Now Jones to throw on third down. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Javon Holland. And the Dolphins are going to get possession of the football as time will run out on its first quarter of play. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. They start near midfield following the interception as they begin first and ten. And some solid footwork there as he'll take this down to about the 38. 105 yards rushing for it as he has been tough to stop here this first half. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. First and 10 at the 38 yard line. They chain here, they stay on the ground. And he works his way forward to pick up four yards there, second down. The Dolphins in three and one here through their first four games. And they're hitting their stride of late, winners of three of their last four. And I thought that they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience, all on display in that victory. And a short game down to about the 33. I think if we put together a job description for a middle linebacker, we would start with being able to hold down things in the middle of the line of scrimmage and be able to take on blockers. But how about the guys who can go sideline to sideline and make plays? Love a guy that can do that. We saw a perfect example of it right there. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Going to the air. Tugga Vailoa. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And the Giants have it. It's picked up. And he's going to take this one back to the 37-yard line. And a defensive-minded coach loves to turn up the heat, turns it up there, it pays off. And back in the good old days, those defensive-minded coaches just talked about intimidating teams, using force, right, beating them to the punch. In this case, they're talking about creating turnovers. That's all they preach all game long, all practice long, every meeting. Get the football. That's what they want. Well, first down screen pass, good for five. And a really nice play call there to start the drive, especially if you're a team that has a little bit of a reputation for throwing it downfield. You come out, and you think maybe you can catch them off guard a little bit, and they did. Little screen pass, backdoored them, and that time, it well for a solid game. And once again, the Dolphin defense holds firm as they'll stop them behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Biggie, biggie, biggie. Jones fakes the give to Barkley. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. His first catch, good for 16 and a first. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they're having panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball, and what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. On first and ten, Jones. He finds his target, Bagley. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of 40 before he's out of bounds. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And it'll be second down. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. From the 41, here's second down at seven. Jones with a handoff to Barkley. And he has met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. 
no gain on that run. And while the team is down, there's still time to come back and win the football game. If I'm the offensive coordinator, though, I've got to think about moving at a faster pace and maybe opening things up a little bit and throwing it a little bit more. Here's Jones on third down. And that will be incomplete. And based on my math, they've only converted one time thus far in this game. So you can see the frustration starting to come out a little bit. Third downs, they've been a problem for them all game. They've got to start becoming solutions. think this has the carry it does not it's no good and this will remain a two touchdown game well Brandon anything beyond 50 you start rolling the dice a bit and once you get up around 57 58 yards the chances of making it go down dramatically and sure enough this one winds up no good and he pushes through a would-be tackler to get about three yards second down not a big run on the first play of the drive, but that doesn't necessarily mean it was a bad play. Sometimes you're just trying to settle in, get your guys a little bit of contact, and get things moving. Oh, he's going to let this go for the end zone. And that is caught. Touchdown, Miami. Tyreek Hill. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Dolphins are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And it's now 21 to nothing. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. And a fair catch signal for and taken successfully. The Giants take over first and 10 at their own 25 yard line. Okay, here we go. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. Well, CD, you kind of feel like they're in a bit of a danger zone right here because now you're down three scores, and I know we're in the first half, but the way this offense hasn't been able to generate anything, you feel like they probably need to get something going on this drive, right? Yeah, and sometimes I overuse that this is an important possession. But I think this has to be the possession where they come up with an answer because only a few teams in league history have ever come back from a four-score deficit. If they don't score here, that's what they could be facing the next time they get the ball. They keep it with Barkley on first down. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. But you don't turn your nose up at a gain of four, do you? They'll take that on first down. Playbook's got to be pretty well open on second and six. Now a second and six. Off play action. Jones. And that's going to be caught downfield by Slayton. And he'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. A big play on the catch and run, covering 34 yards. Uh, so often when we're watching a football game, we see one with a lot of ebbs and flows, and this one is no different. And sometimes you just need a big play to wake you up a bit. And they get one right there, that shot of caffeine this offense was looking for. A first down carry for Barkley. And some determined running there as he'll pick his way down to the 12-yard line. 52 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. But defensively, they had that one pretty well figured out. Yeah, one of the things about this play, it can be even more effective when you run a lot of motion and there's plenty of times you don't hand it off. On second down, here's Barkley. Had a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after Here's play number seven on the drive. This is third and seven. Looking to throw. Jones. He's got his target. That's complete. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts. As the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. 
Now they'll send a tight end in motion left. Barkley is into the end zone. Touchdown, Giants. Well, this has not been the greatest of first halves to this point. They've been pretty well dominated in all phases of the game. So this was an important drive just to show they can move the football and finish. And now they're on the board here on the touchdown run. And Holly clanks it off the right upright. And it's no good. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And he won't quite make it to the 25. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. And with a two-score lead already, they may just look to get this thing to the locker room. On first down, Tongue of Iloa. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open, and it would have been an easy throw. Second and ten. Now a play fake. Here's Tug of Iloa. And going deep for Hill. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. And with apologies to Dylan Thomas, apparently they're not going to go gently into the half. They're still out there firing haymakers. They took a chance on a deep ball there, but it winds up incomplete. Tua, the final shot before half. And going deep for Hill. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. So since that last play got nothing, they'll go ahead and decline the penalty. And that forces a fourth down situation. So the two teams will head to the locker rooms here in Miami with the Dolphins on top. As we go up to Orlando now and hand it over to Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. Forecast calling for more of the same. The rain set to continue as we are underway in the second half. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. He'll drop it off with Saquon Barkley. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. 64 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive lineman creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before that he always told his runners, run around the offensive line and put Barkley hit in the ball, caught three. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And to the 43, so down inside the 45 to the 43-yard line, that's where they'll take over. Following the fumble recovery, here's Tua. And that'll be off the mark, too far out in front, and it's incomplete. That was nice work there defensively to force incompletion. Now, even though this drive started in plus territory, they're still not in field goal range yet. So they can work towards another couple of stops and not allowing that turnover to hurt. Here's second and 10. From the gun, it's Tua. And he's taken to the ground, but he was pulled down by the face mask. Here come the flags. And I believe this is going to be a first down. And now it's first and ten. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. Up the middle they go with Moster. And able to get this to the 31. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Out. 
On second down, a run by H.A. They're going to snuff this play out behind the line. We have not seen that much today. They'll wind up losing three. And now it's third down. And plays like that are exactly what this defense needs here early in the second half to give it a little spark. I think their halftime adjustment, what they talked about, maybe it's just a little inspirational speech. Who knows? But it looks like they're ready to go. is the target incomplete. Coverage was awfully tight there on third down. They actually closed off all the passing lanes, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. The Dolphins will send out the punter now, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. And the win last week punted four times as this one's away. Yeah, he was looking for the checkup bounce, didn't get it. That scoots all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. Right now, they're in a bit of a tough spot here, CD. You trail them by double digits. Remember the last time out, they fumbled. They're going to have to play some clean football here on this possession. And all the talk on their sideline has been about taking care of the football, making sure that they're handling the ball correctly. So you know they'll be squeezing the rock pretty tight here. They just have to be careful not to go so hard in doing that that they actually cause themselves other problems. Take care of the ball, but still try and go free and natural. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Had an open man that time. They end up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. In motion, the tight end. Jones now. On play action. The Dolphins get there this time, and they bring him down. For the first time this game, multiple defenders in there to drop it. Here's Jamie Gillen now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. That'll go for only 17 yards on the punt. And the Dolphins will begin this drive in great field position, first and 10. Setting to throw on first down is Tua. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. I know at times people think we use it too often, but you've got to be able to throw guys open. And when you read zone, you've got to stick it in there before your receiver gets to the next guy in the zone. Otherwise, you bring him into the play. And that's precisely what allowed that defense to disrupt the pass. Looking to pass. Tua. And that's going to be incomplete. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Tua sets up to pass it. Now the pressure gets there, and Tua is going to be taken down. That time, multiple defenders getting pressure, and it's a loss of six. The Dolphins will send out the punter now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. Thirty-five yards that time on the punt, and the Giants' drive will start from deep in their territory for the first and ten. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. 
These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. Meanwhile, Jones throw complete here to Waller. And he's out right at the 25. 12 yards that time for number 12 as they move the chains. Up the middle with Barkley. And he'll push his way forward to about the 32. If you're in the offensive huddle, you're smiling after that play because you've certainly got them guessing now. Second and short, could they just hand it off for another big gain? Or did they take advantage of this spot to take a big shot downfield? Running again with Barkley on second down. And this will be a Giants first down as he's got this past the 35 to about the 37. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. They'll run it again with Barkley. And this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. This drive is turning to an extended run, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. On second down, a run with Breida, and he'll get it out to midfield. Let's see, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. Four yards the pickup, first down. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, They've got to pay it off with some points. Over here, over. Barkley inside handoff. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. They suspected it. It was a power play up the middle coming at them. And boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. Second down. Here's Barkley again. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. A yard in the wrong direction makes third down tougher. Third down and nine. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they... Well, in any event, the extra speed, that will buy the line of scrimmage. Play number nine on the drive coming up, and they need nine yards on third down. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. This one to the former Robbie Anderson, now Robbie Chosen. So the completion results there in nine yards. And it'll be fourth down. Now that's going to be a tough one to explain when they get together to watch the game film, isn't it? I mean, they had the right call, had the out route. He's got to know where the first down sticks are, yet he steps out of bounds that close. Not their best play. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. They'll run with Barkley. And now off to the races. Down the right side. And all the way in. Touchdown, New York. Saquon Barkley with his second touchdown of the game, number eight on the season. And the Giants' decision to go for it pays off with six points. They're going to run it with Barkley. And he is into the end zone again. So get him some oxygen. He scores on the long run and then punches in the two-point conversion for good measure. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Yeah. 
The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. They've been asleep for a little while on this side of the football, Charles, and the score is just a one-score game now. Haven't had any points this half. What gives? Let's go old school here. All right, let's get back to the basics. Get back to running the football. High percentage throws. Find the guys that eat pressure and make plays for you and make sure they touch it. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Off of play action. Time to my low. Hit as he throws there, incomplete. That incompletion certainly makes this upcoming third down a little bit more crucial. They need to find the right play to convert here and maybe start to tamp down a little bit of the momentum. The other side is starting to gain. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. This offense so far on third down, 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is third down and 12. Here's Tua. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Critical play in this football game, because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them, because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. A very good kick there, but 15 yards on the return. And the Giants will begin this drive in good shape, first and 10. Saquon Barkley, and he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Some teams like to start aggressive to begin a drive, but this is still what you expect to see in normal situations. Just call a simple run, get a few yards to begin the series, and set yourself up for something bigger on second down. Running again with Barkley on second down. They'll get only a couple down to the 44. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? Jones off the play fake. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Well, he caused incompletion is good for a defense. But when you add to it, you get a little hit on the quarterback, knock him to the ground, make him think a little bit, hopefully knock him off his game, especially in a game of this magnitude, this tight in the fourth quarter. Got to feel pretty good as a defense. One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. They'll send a receiver in motion to the left. Desperation time now. Here's Jones. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. The Giants go on fourth, but come up empty. And the Dolphins' defense is able to hold. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. Their defense forced the turnover on downs. They've got the lead. They're in good shape, but can't go into a shell here, right? Still got to be careful. Yeah, because they're still running away from the end down time. So they've got to work on getting first downs, keep the sticks moving, right? Keep the clock going, and above all, ball secure. Don't turn it over. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there. And on that play, I saw a defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing in a situation where they absolutely need the football back. That's either a case of overthinking it or not thinking it through. If you do blitz, do you have to be careful about where you're coming from or are you just coming from all angles? You have to be careful about where you're coming from, obviously. Well, the pressure gets there, and Tua is going to be taken down. Kayvon Thibodeau, he beat the O-line and recorded the sack. This is a little hard for me to compute because I'm watching sack after sack happen, but somehow they're still behind in the game. I would expect all of this defensive pressure to translate to them taking a lead, and thus far, it hasn't happened. Time's winding down. They don't want to waste this type of performance from these ace pass rushers. Throwing on second and long. Tua. Now look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. 
intercepted. Picked off by Bobby Okereke. And the Giants are right back in this football game. A seismic shift in momentum here in the fourth quarter. That's the break that the defense needed. And you know as well as I do, people are going to question the play call in that situation. Sometimes you, you have go. to question the execution, not necessarily the call. And in this case, those defenders found a way to give their team a chance. Jones throwing to start the drive and a screen unsuccessfully dropped him. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived and I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. Why shift the crew? Why shift the crew? Here's a give to Barkley. And he'll take this for about four up to the 46-yard line. The second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get him into a manageable third down because they had the incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. Here's Jones to throw on third down. This is intercepted. Picked up by Jalen Ramsey. Still going inside the 20. And they will finally bring this run back to an end, but not before he's down inside the five-yard line at the four. He had his eyes on the end zone. He got close. At least he set the offense up nicely, but he's probably mad he didn't take that one to pay dirt. I agree with you. Touchdown! Duvall A.J. He scored out of here. Are looking to make it two straight as they add on to this fourth quarter lead. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And the lead now up to 14. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signal four and taken. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. So now, Charles, this drive, maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. And the Dolphins rush gets home. Down he goes. Emmanuel Agba that time able to drop him for a loss. This crowd turning up the decibel level. It's third and long. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Throwing left sideline there, but it's incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. Here's Jamie Gillen now, standing just outside his own goal line. Sometimes for the punt returner, after such a scramble, it sort of feels that way, doesn't it? He has it, he loses it, somehow the ball finds its way back to him. Atone for his sin, and you know he's taking a deep sigh of relief right now. That'll be caught by Hill. And all the way in for the Miami touchdown. Tyreek Hill. With career touchdown number 75. And the Dolphins are closing in on a 4-1 start as they extend their fourth quarter lead. Extra point and good by Sanders. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Their catch made at the 25-yard line. 
The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. We certainly had a sense coming in here that these guys were in for a tough one on the road. That has been how this ball game has played out. They trail big as we continue on now here in this fourth quarter. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. They'll go to Barkley again. And he'll get this up only to about the 33. Dolphins bring on an extra defensive back on third down. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as it comes with a minute 25 left to go in the contest. Third and two. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. Able to get what they need to keep the drive going with a six-yard pickup on third down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They'll try the right side here. Barkley. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. It's Barkley on the counter. And this time he won't even make it back to the line of scrimmage as they stop him in his tracks. That'll wind up as a loss on the play. So now they're staring at a third down and 12. I think this offense, specifically this running game, they're going to have to find a way to turn the page because they haven't found a way to run it effectively thus far. And it's cost them. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. So a victory here for the Miami Dolphins. And when you break it down, you know, this was just a thoroughly dominating performance.